each and every particular individual has got his or her own DNA profile. <laughs> So our DNA will be similar to our relatives, uh, particularly our fathers most of the times. So this concept is just telling us that you are determining the DNA of, a, of an individual. So the DNA of an individual can be found in the following hair of a person, in the body tissue of a person, the bodily fluid. So when you talk about bodily fluid, we usually talk about semen. So these are called DNA bands so here you can see that these are three different people given that their lines and their po the position of those band lines is not the same so you use a ruler to be able to analyze a dna profile so the thickness of you of the lines and the position where they are at tells you exactly why if the two profiles match or not so for example we have a profile here a line here two lines here two lines here You've got a line here, you've got a line here. So you can see that these two profiles match because if we can take our ruler here, take our ruler and put it on these lines, you can see that they're in the same position and their thickness is also the same. They're not narrow, they're thick in the same way. So here, if we can take our ruler and put here, you can see that you're having two DNA band lines and that tells us actually that these two profiles are actually matching. So this gives us more evidence. So if we take these evidences, say one, two, three, the three out of three tells us that these are matching profiles. So the uses of DNA profiling to identify crime suspects. So, so most of the times investigators usually collect DNA at a crime scene to be able to go to a laboratory which actually tests if the DNA matches with anyone or with any suspect. So the second use is to identify dead bodies. So it is also used to prove paternity and then is also used to trace missing persons so this dna profiling procedure can have its own errors because number one it is analyzed or it is actually interpreted by a human supposedly we have got here a dna profile and then these positions you can see that these two band lines have got almost similar positions but then they are not the same positions so it is possible for someone else to have this band line in that position and people be like assuming that these dna profiles will match so human error can they can actually occur there when a human is analyzing a dna profile so here the second uh, error is suspect might have been uh, might have an identical twin so here's what to address when you have got two identical twins with the same features they've got the same dna so it means their dna profile will always match the third error is laboratories which may not follow the right procedure so like many laboratories use different methods of doing what of obtaining dna and also determining the dna profile of an individual so if a laboratory does not follow the right procedure then they might hit into repeat a wrong result and also the fourth one is the suspect might have been framed so they might take the dna of somebody and put it in a crime scene to make it seem like that person actually committed the crime or they did not thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe tell your friends to stay tuned